This is a burner assembly of an oil furnace. And the components you see on the left side is the blower section. This is the blower motor. Inside of the blower motor assembly is a blower wheel which will move air through the combustion chamber into the burner assembly through the gun and out through the front where the oil will be sprayed from the nozzle. This is the igniter. It's a high voltage ignition system and this igniter will make a spark on the inside bring the current to the front of the nozzle to electrodes where it will ignite the oil. The oil will come out in atomized form in very small droplets which make it very easy to ignite. The controls for this oil burner which controls the motor, the ignition system, and the pump and the oil will be controlled by this device here. This is a safety control. As I turn the motor around, you will see inside the retention head burner. In the very center is the nozzle, which will send the atomized oil into the combustion chamber. On the opposite side, which is still connected to the motor through a coupling, is the oil pump. This oil pump will increase the oil pressure from the tank, bring it up to about 100 PSI, and send it through a tube inside to the nozzle. And this will allow the flames to ignite. So the components again is the oil pump, the burner tube, the ignition, and the control. And on the opposite side, will be the pump. 